Interzoo 2014. I got Andy here with uh, the Senai uh, Reef Monitor. Can you tell me about your product? Yeah, absolutely. So this is the Senai unit just here. This actually sits within the aquarium. Um, it has two functions. So it monitors the water. It looks at the life critical factors in, in a fish tank. So it's looking at temperature, pH, and free ammonia. So it tends to be, certainly with ammonia, it's an element you don't test for very often. Or no. people wait until the fish look ill, and then, you know, I have white spots, I'll test for ammonia. So this looks at ammonia levels down to 0 0.001 parts per million. Mm. So it can predict a problem weeks in advance of a problem becoming apparent. You're right, nobody tests for ammonia no. after the initial cycle. And it's cycle. still the biggest killer of fish, because we... If there's a problem with any of the parameters that we measure in your aquarium, we'll send you a text message to your phone and an email. So we're well aware of how many reef keepers with years of experience have ammonia problems. So this is uh, hooked up to the internet? Uh. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So this unit here, the Senai, you can run it in three ways. So you can attach it to a phone charge, a USB plug, right. and it will just light up if there's a problem. You can attach it to a PC, and if that's live on the internet, it will speak to our servers or we have the Senai web server, which is the new product for this year. That does the processing for you. Senai attaches to that, and it sends the data back to us, and we can process it from there. Perfect. So it works in pretty much real time. It, takes a, it reports a reading every 30 minutes, but it takes a reading much more frequently. If the reading has been deemed to be a problem by the parameters you've set, it will then report that regardless of its, if it's been 30 minutes or not. So anytime it falls outside the safe range, it will yeah. immediately tell you. So if you know your pH is always between, say, 8.1 and 8.2, you can set it so if it goes outside that, or if you're swinging between, say, 7.8 and 8.2, you set it to allow for that. And same okay. with temperature. Um, the only consumable part to it is the small sensor pad. typically decides to not work. So this is where the pH and the ammonia are monitored. So we don't use probes because they need recalibration and we can't rely on people to calibrate it for the rest to then report on the problem. Mm -hmm. So there's no calibration with a Senai. You just replace this sensor every 30 days and that costs about $10. So it's $10 per month for That's aquarium nice. monitoring. So if you have a, an aquarium that's worth, say, $1,000, this has to find one fault in 10 years to have paid for itself. So it's... $1,000 is on the low end of uh, exactly. most reef well, keepers. That, that shows you how cost effective it is. Absolutely. You know, things like heaters breaking and anemones walking into power heads. It's the things that you don't consider and that you have no control over. The best reef keeper in the world can still have their last heater break and have a wipeout. And you see it all the time. On, uh, the heater, yeah. all the biggest failure, uh, you can cause spend of tank failure three, ever. You four hundred dollars on a coral, but thirty dollars on a heater. It's they all it's fail where the eventually. Goes. So that's what we're looking for. We're not, we're not trying to be a big controller company. We're not trying to test your calcium all the time. We're here to tell you when something is going to go wrong. This is a warning system. Yes. The other thing that we do as well, which comes away from that slightly, is that we have a fully integrated light meter. So we measure PAR. Lux, Kelvin, and light spectrum. So if you can see the values are all on here at the moment, that's from this unit here. The black waving line here is the spectrum it's receiving. So you can overlay that against this here is the visible light spectrum. And this here is the light spectrum required for photosynthesis or the per curve photosynthetic, the usable radiation. So if you have T5s or halides on there, you can be pretty specific in what you buy in terms of the colour and the output they'll give you. But if you have controllable LEDs, you can then actually control them, set the blues, the reds, the greens, but you can quantifiably see what you're doing. Above a certain percentage, you can't perceive blue, but this can. Well, you know, that's actually really interesting because, uh, you know, when I'm setting up my LED lights, uh, I'm really looking for a visual appeal because yeah. I don't really know what the corals need uh, so from the little slider bars. With this, it will, it will show you what the corals require. So a lot of LEDs, if you don't have red LEDs in, you still get the red spectrum from the white. 
So the warmer the white spectrum is, the more red they'll be present. But you can see this, <coughs> this PC is running wireless at the moment, and you can see how quickly this will react. So it'll report that it's out of water. That would then send you an alert as well, and if that was in a fixed position, it would be out of water if you had a leak. So it's yeah. telling you Save you've your got house. a problem. <laughs> so you can see if I hold it under the light, <coughs> excuse me, you can see how the spectrum has changed because this is more representative of daylight-ish. It's 9,000 Kelvin. But you can see how the, the power and the lux levels have changed as well. Mm, and quick as that, it goes back to knowing it's back in water. So uh, is there anything else about this thing? You said these are about $10 a piece? They're about $10 a piece, yeah. So you're looking at $120 a year to monitor it. This unit itself retails at $200. Um, and we do two versions of the web server. There's a Wi-Fi version and a non-Wi-Fi version. Uh, the non-Wi-Fi is $180 and the Wi-Fi is about $250. Oh, well, excellent. But can... if, you, if you compare to, say, a PAR meter, you're looking at $200, $300 just for a PAR meter. You are, really. That will do all of that for less money. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for sharing yeah, with pleasure, us. Ryan. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.